Hello, Gemini's. Welcome to Visions of Light and Love. This is your reading for the last week in July. I know I said it was the last week, last week, but I made a mistake. But this reading is for all of the Gemini's, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the last and final week in July for 2021. If you are a returning viewer, welcome back. If this is your first time stopping by, welcome to Visions of Light and Love. If the reading does not resonate with your situation, check out your Moon, Venus, and Rising Sign videos. Cross watchers are welcome as well. If you like my energy, my vibe, you feel like you connect with this reading, and you feel like I am the reader for you, and you would like to show some support, hit the subscription link along with the notification bell and the thumbs up image to help the video circulate. Also, I am open for per personal readings for August. So if you want to get in the book to schedule a personal reading, the link to the email address is in the description box. All right, Gemini's, what is the energy? For the Gemini's, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Gemini's. Four of Cups. I will be using the Celtic cross spread for this reading. The Nine of Pentacles, Past Energy, the Six of Swords, followed by the Wheel, Pisces, and Sagittarius Energy is here. Your overall energy, the Five of Swords, Immediate Future, the Hermit, Verbal Energy, You Fear, the Ace of Wands, followed by the King of Wands, and you're hoping for the Empress, Taurus, Libra's energy, and your outcome is the Ace of Pentacles. Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Okay. So... I am seeing you releasing situations and people that no longer serve you. Releasing people, places and things that no longer serve you, that make you feel bored, discontent, that causes you to feel confused. Um, releasing people that may be doing things behind your back. People that miss the point. And that make you or try to make you feel lost. You are releasing those people. And you're going off on your own, focusing on your, your finances. And you're quite happy, might I add. <laughs> so, in the past, there was something challenging that um, occurred. And I am seeing that you were able to move towards peace and harmony. For the sake of your family. You may also be traveling, or you could have just traveled somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, definitely traveling. But I'm seeing you having a new start with someone. Some unexpected progress is taking place. <clears throat> could be with the um, Sagittarius or a Pisces. Right now, you could be avoiding people that lack integrity avoiding people that um make you question their motives and making better decisions for you that are going to make you happy leaving those people behind making healthier decisions you may have taken or you will be in the immediate future with the hermit taking a time out taking a time out for some type of self-discovery <laughs> clarity enlightenment and i feel like spirit wants you to know whatever the answer that the answers that you're looking for is in the pits of your soul you already have the answers to all of the questions that you you're asking i feel like you fear that an opportunity is not going to present itself to you. This may have something to do with children.
you but you fear taking action in some kind of way. You fear taking control of the situation. Fear out of fear that someone is not going to see the bigger picture. Yeah. You're hoping that you can nurture this situation so that things can grow. But the, the underlying feeling is you're afraid that someone's not going to see things from your point of view or someone's not going to see or understand the bigger picture. And I feel like you're trying to give this person an opportunity to see things your way, but they just someone is not getting it and your outcome ace of pentacles so some of you may be coming into some money going off on a new journey um for as far as a career um i'm also seeing a new car or a new home in the outcome but i'm seeing you coming into some money Okay. So let's see what other messages are here. Yeah, some of you need to, um, again, cut these people, places, and things out that are not serving you anymore and make the decision to take some time out for yourself. Take some time out for you. Focus on you, what you want to do as far as your finances and um leave the rest behind yeah see spirit of saying walk away from those things walk away from those people places and things that no longer serves you okay everyone doesn't have their your best interest so let's say know your worth with that queen of wands And with this Eight of Swords, open up your eyes to see the illusion of the people that lack integrity. The people that um, smile in your face and talk behind your back. Yeah, cut those people off. Mm -hmm. This will require you to go through some type of transformation. Yep, see? Release. The cars don't lie. Spirit is saying, release those people. This is going to require a transformation in your life. But you have to let go. You can't take care of everyone, is what I'm hearing. You cannot take care of everyone. This may be you not being able to take care of children. Not being able to take care of someone that's immature, like an immature energy. You can love them. You can have lots of emotions for them, but you have to love them from afar because this relationship is is lacking stability. It's lacking balance in it. It's not a give and take. When Spirit is saying it's time to take a break. It's time to take a break in order for newness or <laughs> newness, in order to have a renewal, you have to take a break, a break. You have to block out a situation. See? Block it out. Put your guard up. And work on yourself. See? Ten of, ten of um, swords. Spirit is saying walk away. Because this person has disrespect. I mean, um, disappointed you. Um, possibly disrespected you. But I'm hearing disappointed you. Could have left left you um behind but something they they may have stabbed you in the back as well but they didn't make you feel good they didn't make you feel good and i don't even see this person trying to come back in they're not even moving towards you so they you know um and this could be vice versa, apply the energy as it fits to your, your story, but they 
could backstab you and like now they don't even want to come try to come back in after they hurt your feelings so let's see so we have paradise again you may have been coming back from a vacation or you may be taking a vacation like a sudden vacation to somewhere that you love with someone that you love Mm -hmm. and blocking everything those people places and things out that don't serve you staying in a positive mindset because now you have clarity you have truth you have re um revelation you've done some shadow work on yourself and you're not chasing behind people or running behind people they don't want to be part of you rebuilding who you are and rebuilding yourself. Yeah, you're not running behind those people that stabbed you in the back, that caused you pain. You, you're you moving on to people that make you feel, you're moving on to people that like you and that they make uplift you. You're not staying around those people that make you feel crappy anymore. So, Geminis, this is your reading for the last week in July. Comment below. Let me know if this is your story. Share, like, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Be safe. I am sending you love, light, peace, and healing energy. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your week. If you need a private personal reading, um, I am open for the month of August. Check the description box for the email. And I will see you next time. Bye.